I'm new to the business, but I have a great sphere. Potential clients are coming to me with real estate questions, but they're going to someone else to do the deal. What's up? How do I show I'm more experienced than I am? So here's my advice. Be authentic. Um, when I got into real estate, guys, I was 20 years old, okay? I looked like I was 12, serious. So if you think about it, no one wanted to actually be represented by someone who looked like they were 12, let alone who was actually 20. But here's what I did, right? When I was meeting with buyers and sellers and they looked at me or I felt they thought I was inexperienced, I would come out and be honest with them. Hey guys, I'm new to the business, but I'm telling you right now, you're not gonna find another person who is hungrier. You're not gonna find another person who has the time, because guess what, I don't have any clients but you, right? I'm gonna return my phone calls. I have the energy, I'm enthusiastic. And let me tell you something, I'm with this phenomenal firm. This is one of the best firms in the area, and I've got a broker who backs me, and I've got a mentor who backs me. They've got over 25 years experience combined. I'm telling you, if I have a problem, I can pick them up, they're one phone call away of helping me. So, although you may not want to use me because I'm not experienced, I promise you, you're not gonna get someone who's more into this and committed than I am. So you guys can see right there, that came off pretty easy. I just was talking pretty easy. It was a, a, a script that I learned, that I, I, I memorized, that I really used, and it was true, it was authentic. Now, here's what I would tell you. I actually, right, what they say is, you gotta show up, you gotta do the work. I did the work, I did the research, I knew the market. I knew the market better than most of the top producers, right? I was in the area. I knew so much about everything, although I was inexperienced, that way when I spoke, or when I was speaking to these folks, and I talked to them, I looked like I knew better than the most of the majority of the seasoned agents. And let's be honest here, guys, some of the seasoned agents are not great, and these buyers and sellers knew that. And so, I think I, I would, to give you advice and answer a question on how do you become more or come off as more experienced than, than, than you really actually are is, is I think being authentic because people fall in love with the person you are and some people like the underdog. Um, and if, they, if I put myself out there and I actually told them that and I, I gave it my all and they still didn't use me, I was actually okay knowing that outcome, right? I was not okay not knowing that outcome going, they used somebody else, I'm so upset and I didn't put everything out of the line. When I put everything on the line, and they still didn't use me, I was okay with that outcome. They actually wanted someone who had 10, 15, 20 years of experience. And you can't get mad at that if you've done the best you can with what you had. And that's what my suggestion would be to you. Do the best you can with what you had, but don't go in there without knowing the market or knowing this area and saying you're the expert when they ask you what's the average days on market and you don't know. Like, be the expert, show up, show them that you're better than the other realtors. I mean, uh, I'm a little fired up, yeah. I mean, it just brings me back to my, 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 my beginning days of, of real estate and um, how I won so many deals because people fell in love with Tyler who was hungry, who showed enthusiasm. As you guys can see, I have enthusiasm in this video because I'm passionate about it and I think they saw that opposed to the seasoned agent of, yeah, I can, I can do that and oh, they're just, they're, they're dead, right? I mean, sometimes their, their, their tone and their enthusiasm was dead to these sellers and buyers and they, they were looking for someone like me. So, uh, yeah, just be authentic.